Yo, so today's video is a little different. Instead of answering a question today in this video, I wanna take a moment to acknowledge a powerful young figure in the world of making men strong again who has recently passed away. Uh, if you guys have been watching my videos over the past few months, I've been talking a lot about this book here, Hard Times Create Strong Men by Stephen Arneo. I probably referenced him in at least five or 10 of my videos and um, he passed away today. And so I'm, I'm making this video to acknowledge him, to bring a little bit of light into the, ama the amazing work that he's done in the short time that he's been on this planet. Uh, when I met him last year at the 21 convention, which by the way is an event that all men who are on the road to becoming great men, strong men, powerful men should go to. Uh, I met him there, he was one of the co-speakers and, uh, and he gave me a copy of his book and uh, what was most impressive about him was that he had a table full of about 13 different books. He's authored so many books and he was still a young man. I think he, uh, I think he was in his early 30s or maybe even late 20s. Became a millionaire in his early 20s. Uh, he, was, he was in real estate. Uh, just a, a powerful entrepreneur. Not only that, but when he started taking on employees to work in his real estate company, he recognized that a lot of the young men that he was hiring, they were struggling, suffering with a lot of uh, illusions. Uh, he's a millennial, and what he would often describe as is, uh, this millennial delusion and some of the ideas that he had to destroy uh, that were plaguing the young men. He actually uh, decided to, to, to turn into a book to teach these men how to grow stronger. And that's how he went from being a real estate mogul at the age of 25 into an author. And not only did he write this book, which was the first book that I read of his, uh, he's written lots of books on success and on sales and stuff like that. Stephen Arneo, man, the world is gonna miss you, dude. And I think he was just getting started. So anyway, this book, highly, highly recommend. Go get it. If you're a man on the, in, on the journey, if you're a man who knows the importance of learning about being a strong man, go get this book. It's more timely now than ever because I truly believe that we hard times are hard times are coming. We have been pampered. Uh, we don't. Most of us in the Western civilized world don't know what hard times are about, uh, and so we think that it's never going to happen. But I have a good feeling, you know, given the circumstances these days, we're going to hit hard times, and that's when strong men are going to rise. And this book is all about the history of strong men rising during hard times and what's going to require what's going to be required for men to to grow stronger in this day and age uh Stephen was a deep dude i did a uh he interviewed me on his youtube channel just about three weeks ago uh super smart guy i mean he interviewed me but he spoke most of the time because i just wanted to hear what he had to say one of those kind of guys super super smart um I could even tell, though, during that in that conversation, even though he brought so much to the table, I could still see he was suffering. He was struggling. He'd been battling cancer for many years, he explained to me. And uh, even still, even though he was battling, he was fighting cancer, he's still out there pumping out content, doing great things for men. Not only for men, not only for entrepreneurs, not only for guys who are, you know, like uh, success-minded, entrepreneur-minded. He also authored a book for women, and I wanted to bring that out, bring this up also. You know, uh, he cared so much about what's happening on this planet. You know, the, the 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 degeneration of our culture that it wasn't. He recognized that it wasn't just men alone that were going to make this happen. This book, look, that's a that's a set of ovaries. That's a vagina. So this is a book called The Oracle. I would highly recommend it if you're a woman watching this. Um, or if you have a woman that you that you want to kind of convey some of these primal or more traditional understandings of the roles of the sex uh, of the sexes the genders, get this book. My wife started reading it. She was really impressed by it. Uh, it's called the Oracle, the Queen, the Princess, and the Whore. So it's basically like three archetypes of the woman. Uh, it says the Oracle. He says, "What does it mean to be a woman in the modern world?" Right? I think this is important. A good book. Uh, the Oracle examines what it means to be a woman in the modern world and explores the four types of women, oracles, queens, princesses, and whores. What makes each type of woman and how they fit into the world of power and the world of men. 
The definition of woman has become more flexible in, uh, than ever in history, and the oracle offers a clear path of what it is to be feminine instead of feminist. Where the world encourages women to be men by competing with men, the oracle allows a woman to find harmony with the male species by embracing her femininity to have meaning, love, happiness, and family. So, anyway, you know, if you don't know who Stefan Arneo is, you, you could, I'll, I'll tag him on this. You can see some of old, his old stuff. Check him out. I would highly recommend going to go buy his books because I don't know what's going to happen. I just found out that he passed away today. These books may uh, be out of print. You know, I don't know if he's going to keep printing them. I don't know if they'll keep being for sale. But uh, they're important books. He's done important work. Very powerful young man. He was a millennial. I know a lot of these guys can relate to it. He's a successful millennial. A, a old soul, you could tell. And somebody that I'm going to miss and I think the world's going to miss. And, uh, and I invite you to go check out his work. And Stefan, rest in peace, brother. Our prayers are with you and your family. Done.